Getting your first camera, there's so many things for you to think about, but getting your first cine camera, let's get into it. The cine camera is something that, as a videographer, you always look and aspire to have one. It might not be the latest and greatest, but you always aspire to have at least one cine camera. One of my first cine cameras. It's basically the poor man's budget cine camera. And I, I say that with leniency because even though it's on a budget, it still has a lot of great features. The first thing I like to talk about with the cine camera is the ergonomics. Looking at it, it's pretty hefty, right? But it does have a handle in which you can grab it and it makes it easier for you to hold, especially if you're a run and gun type of shooter. You have a point of contact here. You can also place it against your chest if you're going to use it that way. One other thing about it is that it's really made to be rigged out. So if you purchase one of the Black Magic Pocket 6K Pros or one of the Black Magic cameras, usually you're gonna have it rigged out or it's gonna be on a tripod. And you have to purchase that with that intention already in mind because it's not something that you really just wanna hold all the time just by itself. Even though you can hold it by yourself, it's not something that you really just wanna hold by itself. And of course, with all the added extra features such as a cage or even a top handle or even a V-mount battery, a V-mount plate, the rods, the list goes on and on for things that you have to add to actually make this a real functional camera. But outside of that, internally, the camera has so many great features. It comes with ND filters. That's something that we look for in a cine camera. Most likely for every camera, we would like to have ND filters. But with a cine camera, you especially want to have ND filters. This also comes with a screen, which has, I believe, about a thousand nits to it. And it's pretty bright, especially when you're in sunlight. Now, it's helpful because when you're holding this camera, especially as a run and gun, if you hold it to the side, you can actually look down, you can get an actual perspective of what you're seeing and it makes it easier. You don't want to weigh this camera down by adding a monitor, even though you can, but if you do that, that's just another added expense because then you're going to have to get an easy rig to hold it because it's going to be a lot of weight on this camera. And unless you're putting it on a tripod, you really don't want to put a monitor on it because you can just hold it. So if you're the run and gun shooter, that's, this is the basic setup or the starting setup that you would have to make your scenario work. It's efficient, it works, and it gets the job done. The next question is, who is it for? Like I said earlier, the budget cinematographer. You know, I think this comes in at around 2,500 if you buy a brand new. But of course, on the used market, you can get in for about 2,000, maybe even 1,500. It comes with B-Raw, it shoots 6K. If you shoot 4K, it's gonna be on a crop sensor. So it's about a 1.6 times crops, I believe, or 1.7. It's for the person who wants to shoot manual. That's key. If you like shooting manual, this will be a great camera for you because you can learn how to rack focus when you're shooting. You can learn how to hold it. Even though this is an automatic focus lens, you can still also turn the focus wheel to get your own focus because this is a manual camera. It doesn't have autofocus. That's something that you have to also take into mind that you're considering. And that's why I consider because I wanted to actually get into a shooting manual. And especially with the new updates that have come with the Black Magic, there's no reason why you shouldn't. You can use this as a webcam. You couldn't do that before. And I think that's very keen for someone to be able to use a big camera like this as a webcam. Because before you used to be able to only have to use one of your other budget cameras and use, or maybe even the webcams that are attached to your um, laptop or desktop. But if you want to use your cine camera, you can actually do that to get a better quality picture. So that's a key feature. Blackmagic also updated the interior of the camera so that it makes available a list of all the features and all the metadata that you would have on your file. That's also key. When you wanna get into your file, know exactly what you shot with, what your gamut was. These things are right there in front of you so that you don't have to go anyplace else and look. And also, as I previously stated in another video, you can also delete your files, which is a key factor. 
Many times you were on set, you couldn't do this. You would have to take a shot. Whatever you shot with, you just leave it. It would just take up space and really just use up your hard drive unless you got back to your laptop or desktop and was able to offload all those files. So being able to delete whatever you don't need while you're on set, thank you Blackmagic for doing that. There's so many people out there that love it. Lastly, is it worth buying it in 2024? Personally, I'd say yes. If you're starting out in your cinematography journey or even your videographer journey, this will be a great camera for you. Like I, I've used this when I've done, I've covered events. I decided to take out my black magic. I usually don't carry it around with me like that because I keep it on sticks, but I took it out, captured some great footage. I just love the colors that come from it. It's pleasing to the eye. And of course, everyone that sees you with the black magic camera always figures that, you know, this guy really shoots. That's not always the case for everyone, but it just gives that feel to say, you know what? You're into your cinematography and you know what you're doing. You're taking that leap forward to actually get a better image for your clients. So if shooting raw is something that you need for your clients, this would be something great for you. It's at a budget, it's 6K raw on top of that. And you also get software from Blackmagic so that you can be able to use, which actually works very good with just about any computer. So if you wanna get that, that's something that you should look forward to with the Black Magic Pocket 6K, the 4K, the 6K Pro, and even the full frame new Black Magic camera that they have out now. As far as it being cost effective, it's cost effective it's if it's purchased used. And I say that because as I said, you have to rig out this camera to get the full functionality of it. So if you get it used, just understand that you have that extra cash over to buy all the extra things that you need, especially V-mount batteries, which it doesn't really take that much to power the camera. So you can get a good, decent battery for about $100, if anything, maybe 120, and it'll work perfectly. Probably last you about five hours, four hours, depending on how you shoot. If you shoot continuous raw, probably only last you about two to three hours. But if you shoot at a lower format, you can last about four hours out of it. So it'll be a great investment. This camera has been out on the scene for a couple of years now and they've constantly updated it, added new features, especially to the software, to the NLE software that you use. There's always something that they're updating to make it a better user experience. So there's a plus for that in 2024. A lot of people don't like using other softwares like Premiere Pro or Final Cut, but with DaVinci, it might not be the exact way you would use Premiere Pro or something like that because it flows seamlessly with other Adobe products, but it can do basically the same thing. And it's actually a little bit easier once you learn how to do it. DaVinci Resolve has instruction manuals, workflow manuals that'll give you a better, a better idea of how to do it than I would, but at the same time, understand that it is relatively simple. So if you're looking for a great cinematographer's camera in 2024, especially on a budget, the Blackmagic 6K Pro, the 6K, the 4K, or even the new 6K full frame camera will be perfect for you. Start out, get out shooting, use something that works for you in your workflow. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys shoot with, what was your first cinematographer camera, if you still use it and if you still like it. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.